Hi, I'm Brett Schuyler and welcome to Schuyler Farms. We are located near Simcoe, Ontario in Canada. We grow corn and soybeans, raise lamb, and we produce tart cherries and apples. The cherries and apples are more labour intensive crops and require upwards of 150 people during harvest. This video is geared towards someone looking to work at our farm seasonally. Our expectations are employees have a good attitude and work hard. In return, we are committed to treating them with respect, offering safe and reasonable work conditions, quality accommodation, and high-speed internet. This video is designed to show potential employees what they can expect through a season at Schuyler Farms, from both our perspective and that of previous participants. What I will make in a month in Trinidad, I can make it, make it here in a week. The money looks good, you know, I mean, I would, I would like to invite more people to come because you could do a lot with it. When you back home, you always have to do something, always have to borrow. But here now, we could always send them back home so you could always do something ahead. I care is, uh, is a dollar for dollar, but when you go back home, it's about five to one. So at least it, 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 it's a different compared to back home. The bulk of our work involves pruning and harvest. We prune the fruit trees from March to June. Cherry harvest takes up most of July. Then we do some summer pruning until apple harvest starts in September. We strive to maintain a minimum of 40 hours per week of work, but find most workers prefer around 60 hours per week. And where work and weather allow, we do our best to accommodate them. We've had workers returning to our farm for over 30 years. Some senior employees who have shown ability and desire We'll do other activities such as machinery operation, tending to our flock of sheep, running irrigation systems, and an assortment of other jobs. However, for someone starting out, they can expect to begin their careers pruning, picking apples, and working in the cherry orchards or the cherry processing plant. No, it's not really hard work. You just have to set your mind to it. You just can't be lazy. Not really hard work. Why come from this countryside? I have custom planted home, so. I wanna say different now, it's just the same thing, it's just different, you know, different countries. I got no problem working. So I'm getting in the job, I'm getting the work, so I'm getting it done. Um, that's why I'm here. If I custom working hard at home, you'll find it easy out here. Easy here. But it's normal. If you're lazy, don't take the opportunity or take that space or that position where somebody else will make use of, use of it. No. Once you know you have ability to work, you could come. But if you know it's not a hard working person, or you're just coming to play the fool on waste the people's time. In basic terms, apples are carefully picked off the tree and placed within containers for shipping. Apples are very delicate and need to be treated like eggs. Cherries are machine harvested and transported to the Norfolk Cherry Company, where they are graded, sorted, and packed. Cherry season in particular comes with long hours as we strive to harvest the perishable fruit in its peak condition. We try not to work when the weather is too miserable, but this is Canada. The workers pruning apple trees in April or picking apples in October will experience temperatures around freezing. It also gets quite hot and humid during the summer. Temperatures getting in the 30s with high humidity. Wow, a little challenging because I know about hot sun and here is both hot and cold. You know, but I cope with it. Now, then again, I'm accustomed to it now. You know, they come here for a reason, so. This part about walking here is like when, when coming into the cold morning, you know, like you just have to just, just warm. Once you just warm, you, you will be able to go and while so you walk and your body move, movement of your body, you won't, you won't be feeling that, that coldness. We can accustomed now with coolness, yeah. Because to me, like, when the winter now coming in, to me, like, it's been more cool. I don't find it cool now, for me. We provide group accommodation in a variety of bunkhouses, including all male, all female, and co-ed units. All have high-speed wireless internet, which is an important factor for workers wishing to keep in touch with friends and family and also provide entertainment. Yes, it is important. Yeah, I don't think somebody could come out here for actually eight or six months and 
without having any connection with their family, no. Yeah, social media help and internet help to, for you to get in touch with your family back home. You can see them, video chat and things like that. Yeah, by through Wi-Fi or WhatsApp or call normal. Every day. Sometimes I'm morning before I go to work or in the evening when I come from work. We talk to them every day, we see them every day. It's just, you know, you're just not with them in person that you could actually feel them. But yeah, we just see with family every day. Each employee has their own single bed and a lockable locker in a dormitory environment and access to refrigeration and cooking facilities and group kitchens. Pots, pans, plates and cutlery are provided and we also offer weekly transportation into Simcoe where employees purchase their own groceries and other personal items including toilet paper. What really surprised me is that coming onto the farm and they have Wi-Fi proper place to stay, fridge, just do everything is organized, got your bed, um, you got, you can, if I want to go out the road, I can go, it's, it's, it's no, it's not a problem, you know, I mean, it was really a surprise to see that um, you come into work and you're still feeling like you're at home, it's not that bad, it's good. Everything comfortable, comfortable bed bathroom, everything, just comfortable enough, stove, fridge, yeah, you're comfortable if, if they say they're uncomfortable or something wrong. Very <laughs> clean, decent, decent with, uh, with decent people. It's, it's properly maintained by us because of everyone have someone, some chores to do in the house, so it's properly maintained. Fortunately, Simcoe is about a 45 minute walk or 15 minute bike ride away and most people find their own way into town. One thing I like about it is seeing stuff on sale, yeah. You, bought, you, you, you could go and actually buy it and keep it, you know. Things to, ready to ship, to put in barrel to ship, yeah. A number of social opportunities are available in nearby communities. Outside of the workday, employees' time is their own. We just expect they show up on time and are ready for work the following morning. In closing, Farm workers are a highly important and valued component in our operation. Treating employees with respect is not only the right thing to do, but works out best for all parties involved. I hope this video has been helpful to those considering joining us at Skyler Farms. This is we bread and butter. It's here we just come and make we money every year to you know support we family. It feel like three long years, but it's three very very good years that I actually been here to make a better life for me and my family and my son, most of all. When you come to the program, you do your work, you stay out of trouble, and you just, you just work to elevate yourself, to become the better qualifying person in life. My child education comes first. So I don't care what I have to do. I'll work hard and make sure he gets proper education. When you compare the money making now, it's worth it. It's worth it. We see experience different things, how to do things in different ways, you know. We learn a lot out here. I reach different people, different culture. When I go back home, you change, your, your lifestyle change because you meet different people. Every year when we go home, we have friends, yes, our friends, and I always encourage them because basically they, do, they ain't doing nothing home. They don't have no work or job or anything. And I always tell them, you know, come and give it a try, you know. It's what I want to do to reach my goals, you know, to achieve my goals, you know, and the money's looking good. Of course, once I get the opportunity, I'll be back here every year. I think it's all about the money and stuff and the stuff that you can get and access to bring back home. Yeah, it's good. We look forward for this every year. If it wasn't fun or we wasn't comfortable, well, I know I can speak for myself. I would not have been coming back here. I think it could help a lot of guys. Um, it could keep a lot of guys off the streets and stuff once, you know. It could, it's, it, it, you don't need to be, you know, like... Um, a rocket scientist or whatever it is. It's just basically common sense, you know. It's better to come and try 
then he didn't try at all. But you just have to remember at the end of the day, it's hard work, you coming to work, you ain't coming to play. I would just like to invite more people to, to look out at the um, program, to come and get yourself involved in it. See what it is about. Don't just be home and hearing people saying stuff. Come out and see what it is about. I was, um, I was as concerned as how some people are, but once I got into it and I see how it really is, what it is about and what can it do for, for someone, home for me, yeah, I would advise people to come out and try it. Um, the program is very good for me and I would like more youths to come out in the program. Both women and men, yeah, could come because we're doing it for years and stuff. Other people who as well say they're doing it for years too and they accomplish real things so I don't see like you know any special special person once you're hard working you know what you want in life yeah come and give it a try <laughs>